everybody, my name is Hannah and I'm from Vietnam. I watch KKC online sometimes. Because of the COVID-19, the church is closed. KKC is a very nice place where children can learn and sing songs about Jesus. I learned that Jesus can do, do miracles to raise up the dead and heal the sick. Last Sunday was Easter. It's not about bunny eggs. It's about Jesus is risen from the dead on the third day. I like to see so much because they have fun games and the teachers are very friendly and nice! Thank you! Jesus is the way, he's my everything. During this lockdown, I really miss going places. But recently, I went to a place. I'm sure not many of you have been to that place. Malacca? No. China? No. US? No. Somewhere far, far away. Up in the north. Yes, I went to the North Pole to see the polar bear. You don't believe me? Why wouldn't you believe me? Why must you be like Thomas? Why must you see to believe? I will show you. Let's watch this video while I was there. So children, now you believe me because you have seen it. Just like Thomas, you have to see to believe. But God wants us to believe Him, even though we don't see Him. Believe all His promises. Believe all that He says. Today, we want to learn from Thomas. We want to have faith in God, to believe Him, even though we do not see Him. So children, are you ready to learn from the Bible today? If you are, let's join Auntie Lee first to prepare our hearts as we praise and worship God. Hello children, it is KKC praise and worship time again. Let's all get up on our feet from wherever you are. Let us enjoy praising God together from your homes or even from your car and maybe even take your friends up. Get your friends up. Let's enjoy worshiping God together. You do what Auntie does. Okay? Okay, let's praise God. Are you doing it? Let me see you do it, children.
children, aren't you glad that Jesus loved us first? Because of this, we want to love Him. Shall we all invite Jesus even into our heart? Let Him come to do your heart today and for all the days in your life. And let's raise our voice to God. Surely I will uphold you. 
We all know 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. But what about 135 times 135? Is it 18,225? We do not know for sure without counting. So when I ask you, you doubt. You have to see the calculation before you believe. Just like someone in the Bible. When Jesus was crucified and was raised from dead on the third day, he came back to speak with his 11 disciples. Thomas was not around. So when the others told him that they have seen Jesus, he couldn't believe what they said. Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. That's what he said. And a week later, Jesus appeared to all his disciples again. And this time, Thomas was around. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my sight. Stop doubting and believe. Children, it is good when we don't know, we ask. The Bible also says in Matthew 7 verse 7 to 8, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus teaches us to ask if we are not sure. When we know the answer, we will be convinced and what we believe in, and we will no longer doubt. Today, we want to learn that to be sure of something, we may need to ask questions. In fact, it is good to ask good questions. When we have our answers, we will know what is the best thing to do. And these answers can change our lives. Just like Thomas, when he was not sure if it was really Jesus, he asked to see his nail pierced hand. And when he had seen it, he was truly convinced that it was Jesus coming back to life. He then trusted Jesus completely for who he says he is, that he is God and he loves all lovers. Thomas then could go and tell everyone about Jesus. When we know and can trust Jesus wholeheartedly, we no longer need to see proof before we can believe. Just like earlier, we know very, very well that 1 plus 1 is 2. We don't need to see the calculation. We can confidently tell that, yes, 1 plus 1 is 2. Let us remember Thomas. When we are not sure, ask. And when we already know, we can confidently tell others what we know. We may not see Jesus' nail pierced hands today but we have experienced how he is to us, guiding us, providing for us, and protecting us throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, and every time we need him, he's always near. So do not doubt, for we already know our answers. Trust Jesus in everything, for he cares for us. He has the answers to all our questions. God will help us seek the truth and be teachable. Now, we will continue to learn from Auntie Ellen. Hi children, it's Bible story time again. You like story? I do. And Jesus loved to tell stories and this is one of the parables that he told.
The true meaning reveals God's great love towards us. The treasure in the field and pearl of great price represent you and I. So God came to this earth as a man and paid the price to get us back. So in conclusion, we know that we have to make that choice with God too. God offers us the truth that is wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Instead of living our lives for ourselves, and doing what we think is right or best. We have to seek the truth and live according to the truth. When we read the Bible, we will find wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Where wisdom is, knowledge and understanding are also there. God will help us to do that. God will help us to seek the truth and be teachable. Hi, good afternoon children. Welcome to KKC Online this week. I'm Auntie Huiling again. Good to see you. I'm sure everyone is healthy huh? and at home. Or you're going to school already, right? Okay. Today's subject lesson is about using the treasure. What is treasure? Ah, very good children. Treasure is something that's very precious to you and you usually put it in a box and you bury it somewhere. Like Treasure Island, like you go to hunt for treasures. Wow! What are we going to learn about using the treasure? Mm. Today's lesson is to help all of you children out there to understand once we learn about the truth of God's word, what should you do? We must do what it says. Yes, very good children. Okay, let's see what Auntie Huiling has today. I have this prize. Ah, this prize is by Ian Lee Jenny. Wow, normally prizes, where do you keep it? On your shelf, at home, and you don't share with anyone, right? And sometimes you keep and keep and keep, and it's accumulating dust, and your mother has to wipe it off. Yeah, what about this, children? See what I have here. Ha! Ah, notes. This I can share. Ha! Ah, what if I give each and one of every one of you with 10 ringgit note, 5 ringgit note, and 1 ringgit note? Yeah, all of you can use this to share. And you can use it to buy something or spend your friends on food or small little uh, gifts that you can buy with this money and you can share and you're spreading the goodness around wow that's good huh okay god gave us great gifts this is one of the gifts that god gave us what is this bible yes children when we receive great gifts like the bible and you read it wow there's so many uh good wow, words the reading of the bible every day you should read a passage of it you, sh you should ask your mommy and daddy to help you even read some of the passages. Okay, When you have great gifts like this, what you should do? It's not just about reading children and just keeping it and just reading and keeping it. What you have to do is once you read them, you have to remember them and you have to do what it says. That's the most important gifts. So great gifts is like God said, God asked us go to church and learn more about him and if you are really really hungry about the truth of god god will help you learn and seek the truth and be teachable that is what god promised god will help us learn the truth seek the truth and be teachable yes praise god okay i want to again tell all the children remember children when you read the bible you must remember and also do what it says. Okay, that's all children. See you next week. Bye. Children, let's learn our memory verse for today. Read together with me, okay? Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. From Psalms 119 verse 11. Okay, let's read together again. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119 verse 11. 
Okay, children, let's put this memory verse in a song. Okay, listen. Uh. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 911. Look at this. You just fill in this memory verse with the correct words and then send to Under Kim to get some points. Okay, thank you and bye. We have come to the end of our learning today. Let us remember that God wants us to seek Him and ask Him to show us His truth. He is ever ready to teach us and show Himself to us. Let us hide His truth in our heart so that we will know what is right and will not sin against Him. But before we say goodbye, let's ask God to help us to remember what we have learned today. Shall we pray? Come. Father God, we want to thank you for another day of learning. Thank you that you are always waiting to answer all our questions. Thank you that you involve us in all that you are doing. God, we pray that we will be like Jesus, loving and serving you as we continue to learn from you week after week. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. And all God's children say, Amen. So we will see you again next week. Remember Thomas, remember to ask questions. And once we know the answer, we will do what is right and we will be a stronger person. Okay? Bye!